Oh, boy, I, this assistant coach story is something else. Yeah. And let me tell you all about Leonard Fairley. He had plenty of reasons to fail in his life. With strong family, great friends, and special work colleagues, failure just wasn't an option. No! Get it down! There you go. This is Fairley today. He's an assistant basketball coach at Norfolk State. The first hurdle to get to this point may have seemed insurmountable. When he was six years old, Leonard's family was on vacation in the Ozarks. While staying at a day's inn, he and his mom went to play in the pool. It was a swim at your own risk situation. They were having catch with a beach ball. We were just playing the pool. I remember throwing a beach ball, didn't come back. Neither he nor his mom could swim. She drowned that day. You know, I feel like God put that in my life for a reason. So I'm always, every time I hear of somebody with a past and loved one that close, I always reach out and talk to them. And the message he sends? Things happen, but you can't let those instances take you to a bad place in life and you never f fulfill your potential. On to basketball. Was he a future Steph Curry from the start? Uh, no. Basketball is actually terrible. When he was 10, he went through a whole rec go. league season without scoring a point. Man, did he take a ribbing from his friends. And that was like the day I just clicked. I was just like, this is never happening again. He got his hands on whatever he could to study the game and then practice oh. and practice Hello. some more. When we came back the next year, I was like, best player there that whole season. So, and then I took that, I was like, all right, if I can do this, yeah. I can do anything. Fast forward to the college years, he became a basketball team manager, which means you're a gopher and you do whatever's necessary to help out. Leonard got his diploma from Norfolk State, but after graduation, the final semester grades came out and he had failed a course. Not only didn't know what I wanted to do, but I couldn't do anything because I didn't have the degree. So now I'm just sitting here like, gotcha. what I do? Like, I'm just stuck. He went to work at a Cracker Barrel, finished that course, got his degree. He was still involved with the basketball team. Pop up hard, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. I worked for free. I didn't care that I was working for free because right. I knew this is what I wanted to do. Head coach Robert Jones decided this past summer that it was time Leonard officially became part of the coaching staff. He's just a hard worker. Um, you know, he's, he's very articulate. You know, he's very, uh, he has a great attention to detail. Fairley is so good at scouting other teams, when they call a play, he knows exactly what's coming. You know, being able to know what the other team is going to run from what they call, you know, is a great advantage. About how far he's come, Leonard says it feels like a dream. I come to work with, like, the most joy every single day. Like, I couldn't be happier. Boy, don't you love that? If you need a little in, more inspiration, I've got Leonard's number. 